let's start with the first legs for bootstrap um so this is this is the official documentation page of bootstrap here you can get all all the things related to um, bootstrap and and all so but but the thing that should you you should look for is is the documentation tab which which has all all the documentation for all the components or all the kind of uh, <coughs> elements you will be using um, also it, it has a good search and then it, it, it will take you let's say you want buttons uh, so it directly goes to those pages so you can use it uh, very effectively uh, one of the things you should uh, not do is you don't try to uh, go to stack Workflow or google find for finding the class names of bootstrap and all so one of the reason for that is uh, there are multiple versions of bootstrap so you need to know which version so if you are in a documented page you know <coughs> which version you are using and then you can shift to that version also and then some of the questions which are old might have different class names or, or altogether different classes then you'll be struggling why these things are not working so uh, refrain from it so that documentation have all issues try, try to um, all, all the um, uh, <coughs> notes regarding it so try to use the documentation part so again so <coughs> like like we like i said yesterday so bootstrap is nothing but a css file so how to get started so you just have to import that css file so there's this an external server you can import with so you just have to copy this and put it in your head section uh, then it, it will start working so there are some javascript components which will uh, which you will require uh, for using some of some of the elements which we'll be seeing after uh, you learn jquery so now i'm going to use uh, code pen to show, show, showcase most most of the things so uh, again if, if you are using code pen so <coughs> like when, when you create a new pen i don't know uh, so how many of you explored code pen so if you go to uh, settings so you, you can see that in, in the CSS, you can search and add the libraries there itself. So you don't have to import it. So yeah. so it, it's already been added. So now Bootstrap is uh, already uh, added to it. So when you are using Bootstrap, so you try to write as much minimal CSS as possible. So you, you try to use uh, all the classes provided by bootstrap so i'm just going to create a class called box which i will use um, to showcase where where the uh, the content is and and all the things are so so first let's so this i will use to showcase to get you a feel of how the content is flowing so again uh, once bootstrap is uh, Important, so you can directly start using it. So the first, the first thing you need to uh, do is you need to uh, import this. If, if you are writing, uh, what I say is a, um, like a, your own HTML file, or <coughs> it, 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 it gives the default starter template. You can you can copy paste it and start using it. So I already have it. So I'll just uh, start with uh, the basic thing. So if you just put, so you know now it, it looks it, it, uh, it has certain font sizes and it, it, it has certain ways in which it looks so this these are the default ways in which you look so the first thing you need you need to be uh, uh, understanding about is a bit of understanding about is layouts so in layouts today we are just going to look at a simple grid so it, it's different uh, from from i mean it's kind of grids which you learned in uh, uh, using uh, css but it, they, they perform a bit differently so the one thing you should always remember is in bootstrap so um, so that there are lots of classes you can you can use but you need to know understand how to use those classes so bootstrap is all about adding classes to uh, <coughs> um, um, your html page again so it, it, it has all the things so it has doc type and if you want Responsive meta tag, you, you can add it and all the things. So now let's start with uh, the like the like these 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 are the layout and so 
Okay, so the first thing you should understand is so there is uh, this class called container and container fluid. So what uh, <coughs> these things do is so they um, they put the uh, the content inside the box or, or they, they control the size of the, of the box. So what I mean by this is so if, if I put uh, like something in I'm just going to put box to it so that you understand so you can see this this is a container size so uh, by default the container uh, will have a fixed size so the fixed size is mentioned here so uh, <coughs> in in so the max the maximum size it has is uh, 1140 so in, in in greater than 992 it's 960 so this is the size of the container so <coughs> in, in less than 576 pixels it takes 100 percent you need not to remember this but the one thing you should remember is if you are using a container it, it has uh, a fixed width on uh, other than smaller screen it has a fixed width so you can see um, it, it has a fixed width so it is not changing but if you want them to if you want this the, that whole layout to occupy the whole available space you just have to uh, replace with container fluid so you can see now the container fluid will occupy the whole space so whatever the screen size it is so you can see from the documentation the container fluid will have 100 percent in in in, <coughs> in in all the um, scenarios again so <coughs> these are some other classes which you can use so if you use container excel it, 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 it takes 100 uh, percent in all screens and and in large screen it, it is uh, maximized to um, this uh, 1140 pixels so uh, you, you can use um, multiple classes so for this so so container lg is uh, so we will look at what sm md lg excel in in the, in the second class but uh, you just uh, need not understand it now so because because these are common uh, for all most of the most of the elements you use in bootstrap so again if you want to make some content or put it in a container and you can start working on on those things so now <coughs> comes uh, the grid so uh, so it, it is um, so the grid system is uh, like in bootstrap is much powerful so by default uh, if, if you use uh, so that there are so so many things uh, you can use it for so by by default uh, we, today we are going to look at just something called call uh, which is which is which is defined by a class called uh, column so col so for, for using these uh, grids for first you need to define a row row um, uh, so, so again it, it's, it's a division so all you have to do is to define a row uh, you you have to use okay so this is how you you define a row now to to create elements inside it which are which are equally distributed uh, you need to put something called uh, call class so it's, it's the short notation for column so so i'm going to put the box so I'm just going to say uh, so by you don't have to worry how, how bootstrap uh, uh, does it so that the, one of the thing that that it does is so if it's, it's a column uh, it, it, it will uh, occupy the whole space if there's only one column so as soon as you put um, the second column so without any class name so it, it is distributed so you can see uh, it is distributed <coughs> it, it becomes 50 percent you can put as many columns as possible what it does is so whatever the space it has so it keeps on uh, distributing uh, means it, it has uh, equally it divides the, the columns equally so you, you can put as many columns as possible so it, 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 it is let you defining uh, the layout of the page uh, in very easy fashion you are not writing any css code here you can just put it 
uh, it, so it divides the it, by, by default the column class divides uh, whatever the page uh, or whatever the element it has in, into multiple uh, uh, multiple entries and again if you want to define this the second row so you can say let's say for differentiating i'll put uh, ahr here and they'll define certain different row so <coughs> you can see it has three columns again you, you can keep on defining as many rows as possible uh, again if you, if you want a row with um, it has four elements. Till now, we are, we are not concerned about the responsiveness. We will look at it in, in the uh, second lecture. You can see it, it has four uh, four uh, elements. It has three elements. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven elements. So, when, whenever you you want uh, a certain number of elements, uh, it, and it, it, these the one thing you should remember is these will be. <coughs> Um, whatever, whatever the screen size is, these will be auto adjusted. So you don't have to worry about uh, uh, changing the size size of the, those things and all. That that's the basic thing which <coughs> you need to know about uh, grids for today. So that's that's the only thing we are using for today. Uh, or the first lecture. In the second lecture, we we look at how to uh, clearly understand and, and and do those things in a. Um, much uh, defined fashion so this this this, this is all about the columns and grids so the next thing we are we are going to look at is <coughs> uh, if, if, you, if you want to uh, there's something called typography so it defines how the text uh, looks like in bootstrap so it bootstrap uh, so it uses like i said uh, it uses it uses reset uh, to make sure uh, or normalize to make sure all all the browsers have the same look and feel <coughs> so it provides us classes for um, let me write some comments here This is all about grid. Now let's start with um, the typography. So if you, if you want to uh, uh, create any elements or, or uh, which looks uniform in, in uh, all the uh, browsers, so you can use uh, so by default H1 and also they will look like this. They have a, they have a fixed size. Uh, you you don't have to uh, worry about any of the things. So again, I'm defining a class called container so previously i used container fluid now i'm using container so you can see how what is the difference in the sizes and i'm using the directly these are the headings which you will see so container has a fixed width you can see that um it, it's 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 not using the whole space unlike container fluid if, if you want to use <coughs> Uh, much bigger text or display headings you, you can use it so all you have to do is you have to add uh, classes for uh, all the things uh, so if you use this class i'm just going to copy paste here so that you can just uh, see what, what what's the effect of it you can see these things are uh, getting displayed with uh, so again i keep on repeating bootstrap is all about knowing the class names and applying them for your uh, for your html thing so that it, it looks uh, uh, the same way in which uh, it, it's been written. Uh, the, the, the best thing about it is you you, you understand that uh, you are not uh, writing any, not even a single line of CSS. Again, if you want to write a paragraph, uh, which so there is, if you want a paragraph with, with a bigger text, so this is uh, a paragraph with a bigger text. Again, if, if you remove, I just remove and show how the normal paragraph look, looks like. Uh, can see that this is the normal small paragraph this is this is a uh, large paragraph so this are the headings again let me put some hr breaks around it so that you can understand what is what so 
columns these these are the headings in the same way what are what are the uh, elements you want to use uh, you can look at uh, these uh, typography elements and then if you want to insert some quotations you can use this uh, quotation classes and <coughs> these are these are certain uh, useful things which uh, you can keep on using so it has alignment utilities so which let you align uh, the text in, in a certain fashion so by default it's left so if you put text center uh, it, it, it would be central align if you put uh, text right uh, it, will, it will be right aligned so these these are all the things uh, which are very helpful when when you are when you are doing uh, some displays and the normal lists and all you can use uh, if you want if you want a list with which is like uh, like inline you, you can use a uh, text inline class um, these are uh, description <coughs> list so it says uh, it's like kind of when you want to show something like name uh, Nupul, um, gender male and all the things you can use uh, DLDT so uh, DLDT are HTML text I don't know how many of you uh, looked at it you, you can use them so these are all the things that that is uh, pertaining to uh, <coughs> and typography there are um, like many classes which which you can use uh, and all you have to do is refer to the documentation of this so again if, if you want uh, to use uh, like h1 yeah or, or so the one thing that bootstrap does it if you want to use uh, <coughs> without without using h1 uh, uh, h1 tags or h2 tags uh, if you give the p tags the class h1 it will look like like similar to h1 tags so uh, whenever you, you want those things you, you can do that <coughs> so again so we are we are just done with the typography now let's look at the next set of things so comment this thing out so the next set of things we'll be looking at is uh, uh, buttons so because you, you can see whenever you are using uh, any of the or building any of the web pages you need good looking buttons uh, Again, so when, when you are using um, buttons in, in Bootstrap, all you have to do is you have to add one class called uh, button. So it, 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 they will automatically uh, look uh, better. Now I'm going to use a combination of uh, both, uh, which I have taught you till now to, to make sure uh, you know And these looks better. So let's say I want to create three buttons, so I, I'll uh, which which are uniformly spread. So I, I'll create a class uh, called <coughs> column. So I created three columns. That means uh, which are equally spread or equal size. Now, if if you want to put the buttons, all you have to do is uh, use button and and. The class is um, button so by default the class is button and if you by default the primary color of bootstrap is blue uh, so all the buttons look blue if you want a secondary color which is gray you can use a uh, class called button secondary uh, if you want green it's called button success uh, these are the constant things which bootstrap uses so primary color is blue secondary is gray <coughs> you will receive these classes in any many other, other components or many other items so success is green and danger is red, uh, <coughs> warning is yellow, info is, 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 uh, is uh, kind of blue, and, and there is light and dark. And <coughs> these are all the things which you can use. Again, if you want to put a simple button. I'm putting... So you can see because I used columns, so these are uh, in the columns and if you want these columns to be you, you can do text center they will be central line so you can see these things are central line so with very minimal code you, you started now producing very good looking pages 
uh, again these button presses can also be used for links so let's say you're you're uh, building links So this is how the different default link will look in Bootstrap. It, it is simple link, but if if you want it to look like a button, so you, you can use the button uh, class. And there are <coughs> other button classes which I'm going to use show you. You know, so these are outline buttons. So what happens is the same buttons if you want only the border, and when you hover, the color will appear. So these are outline buttons, and I'm going to use some of these outline buttons classes now. Again, I keep on re-emphasizing, you don't have to use any classes or, or any write any CSS. As soon as you put the classes, they will start looking in this color. So you can see, uh, now this is this is a link which, which looks like uh, <coughs> uh, a button. Uh, in the same way, if, if you want sizes, so it, it has uh, a couple of uh, uh, sizes which it provides. So by default, it, it, it's uh, this size. If you want a large button, all you have to do is uh, you want to add one more class called button large. So you can see it, it became button large. Uh, in the same way, if you add um, button uh, SM, it, it, it's just the size of the button will reduce. You can see it's just small. So this is small, this is a normal size button and this is a large button. Uh, <coughs> let me also make it text center so that it looks uniform. <coughs> Okay, so these are the three sizes that the button provides. If if you want to create, uh, let me create one more column here. If you want to create a button which occupies the whole given space, so there is something called block buttons. Uh, these are block level buttons. It, it will occupy the whole space which which is given, um, yeah, which is given by, which is. Uh, uh, which, which is actually it's the whole space of the parent. So whatever the parent, uh, the size it has, so it, it will occupy. So again, you can you can keep adding many many uh, classes, as many classes, or you can play around with these classes. So I now created a small block level button, um, <coughs> or this is a normal size block level button. If you add more classes, it, it looks like like the same way. So you can see it's the same way, but it occupies the whole size of the. <coughs> uh, Column. So in this way, you are you are able to uh, produce uh, buttons which are nice looking. So uh, there are many buttons which, which you can do. So some of the things we will see when the toggling and all you see when when you do uh, uh, jQuery. So again, if, if you want to use checkboxes and also you can see it's, it's called button group. Uh, <coughs> we will uh, look look at them once. Uh, so these are the button groups. So. This is how you, you use a button group. It is the same, but you, you create a container with button group and then you put uh, them. So it looks like a single um, button with, with three different uh, like sub buttons or whatever you call them. So <coughs> uh, it is a series of buttons uh, <coughs> uh, which, which you can use. So these, these, are, these are the things which uh, you can do with buttons. <coughs> So the next thing we are going to look at is um, uh, cards. So what are cards are, uh, so these are uh, content containers. So if you look at any of the modern um, websites, so they, they, they have content and images or, or some kind of action items. So that is what the card provides you with. So <coughs> by default, the, the card provides you with um, very <coughs> basic framework. You, you can add and create as, as as many kinds of things with a combination of multiple things uh, so that uh, you, you can create a very good looking what I say is uh, boxes which has uh, variable types of content. So again, I'm going to use <coughs> container fluid here. So it will take, it take the whole space and I'm going to use a row. So everything put put it in uh, rows so that uh, you, you can um, build layouts very easily. So it's a row. So I'm, I'm going to put each, each 
card in, in, a, in a column so that I can play around with, with how many how many cards I want to show in, in a row and all. So again, I created a <coughs> the basic layout. Now I, I will, this is the syntax for a card. So if you, if you, if, if you provide <coughs> something like this, so this this will be automatically look like a nice uh, I, yeah so you can see it, it's you put some headers I like in the end. okay so uh, so this is the card uh, you can you can see it, it it's at the bottom so but it's not it's not so prominent. Um, you, you 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 can <coughs> you can add uh, you can use uh, titles so or or uh, card has something called uh, card title and all you, you can use those things to to make them look better so again so you can see this is the card title and if you want it to be center you can use text center you can use all the things which you know till now to <coughs> so you can see this, this is the card title and and or or you can if you want everything to be at the center, you apply the text center here. <coughs> so this, this is the card. All, all I have to do uh, to uh, create one more of this card in, in this row is I just copy paste it. Now you can see how automatically the layouts get registered with two cards. So you can see there are two cards now. Uh, uh, very uh, <coughs> uh, good looking uh, things again I will add one more so now you have three cards <coughs> uh, again if, if you want uh, to add something something to this you, you can add <coughs> if you want any images all you have to do is you have to put an image here <coughs> okay so and then some of the I mean uh, the cards can be used with with headers and footers. So let's let's say you you want to uh, you use uh, a header. So if you add a class called header, you, you, it will get an header. Okay, you can see it, it, it got a header uh, which which is slight grayish and and and. Uh, it, it looks like a heading <coughs> so yeah so this this is a card which which i made again if you want to put some buttons you, you can keep um the the buttons with the, with the same thing I just created create a button called red color button so that's why i used button danger to make, make it red uh, so the, these are the things which which i used to, to build this kind of layout again so very powerful to build um, the modern uh, uh, or, or or the modern uh, products you can see in most of them the next the next thing we are going to look at is uh, the spacing so now till now <coughs> uh, you have created uh, <coughs> something which uh, which which has kind of looks cramped. Let's say you, you want to use a margins and padding, so it has default margins and paddings, but uh, which which you can use to make it look uniform. So spacing, yeah. So it has these classes which you can use. I'm I'm going to show you uh, in, in in a bit, but. First, you need to understand M stands for margin, uh, P stands for padding. So, <coughs> like there are four directions. So, if you want uh, the matching and padding in all the directions, you don't have to use any of these classes. If you want in top, <coughs> you have to use uh, top um, uh, MT. In the same way, if you want to use padding, padding top, you, you have to use M M M uh, P T. Uh, if you want the uh, padding on on left and right so <coughs> that is uh, your x-axis so we have to use mx 
and if, if you want on top and bottom it's y axis you have to use uh, <coughs> uh, um, y and there are there, there are five sizes so uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 so this this is an increasing uh, order of, of sizes so I'm, I'm going to show you how these affect the layouts <coughs> Now again, let me shift to. So anything uh, you want to put in, if, if you want everything in in a same size, you can put it in the same container. But I'm just alternating between uh, fluid and container size, so I'm just uh, defining them again. <coughs> okay. So again, I'll, I'll put a row because I, I want to create some multiple things so that you can show you <coughs> now let's let's put put some div for you to showcase the effect of margining and padding so i'll just create a box so you can see this, there should be a box uh, at the bottom. Let, let me put it a bit above. No, it's easy for you to see. So this is the box. Now I'm going to create a more of these boxes to showcase you how, how padding and let me create. <coughs> so by default column has 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 some uh, margins between each of them. So if, if you want to use <coughs> padding, uh, let's say uh, P, and if you say one, you can see the padding is. Uh, a bit of padding is there so if, if you want to I, i'm going to use a uh, different padding for each of them so p3 p5 so you can see how how the size of, of the padding is changing uh, p1 p3 p5 so this is in all directions so if you can use two and four also uh, again let let me uh, <coughs> copy this to show you more effects of uh, padding okay so <coughs> these things are there now if, if you use uh, uh, p uh, <coughs> x p y again here i says p uh, left so you can see uh, this is uh, in x direction uh, that means um, left and right one padding in y direction i just put uh, three so you can see there is no left and right padding uh, this this is sticking to this uh, in the same way this i put only in 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 the left direction uh, and if you want you, you can add multiple classes so p t e, four if you want different paddings in, in all all different uh, directions you can do that so uh, p b two pb2 <coughs> again you can see now now it, it is different in in all the different scenarios <coughs> the same is the case with margins so if you want <coughs> uh, different margins you, you can start using each of p you just have to replace with m so that the convention is same m is for margin p is for padding uh, X direction means left and right, Y means top and bottom. If you want individual, you have to use uh, T uh, for top, uh, B for bottom, L for left, uh, R for right. Again, uh, but the values you can use from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, or 0. If you put 0, there will be 0 uh, padding or margin based on the things. So <coughs> these, these, these are the few things. Now, uh, 
let's let's look at the next set of things uh, for the day the last set of things so these are the things are called forms so again uh, when when you are using <coughs> when you are building any of the uh, web pages you you know you you need to use forms and and whenever you are using default input it doesn't look so good so bootstrap provides uh, you <coughs> uh, the classes for forms to make them look better uh, all you have to do is uh, let, let me use a container fluid here again or, or a container whatever you want to use based on based on how the link design how the design you want <coughs> so let's uh, let's 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 put it uh, without, without without something. So let's let's show you. Let me show you how the how the form by default it looks like. <coughs> so if, if you if you create a form, so again by by default, if you put any input, uh, let me put put a default input. So let me remove the class. So, okay. By default, the input box looks like this. So, but but if you add uh, the Bootstrap class called uh, form uh, form control, they automatically start looking better. And and it 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 it, it also has some border when when you click on it. So uh, these. <laughs> these are these are the things which which with which you can you can make forms um, make look better in the same way if you want to put some select so i'm just creating some select let me see Again, this is how your your default select looks like, and as soon as you put uh, the class called form control, uh, they start looking nice. So this is the bootstrap uh, way of, of select. I'm just okay. okay. So you can see it, it automatically starts looking nicer. So these these are the things which which you can use to to make <coughs> uh, things look better, and this is how they, they look. If it's a multi-select, it's a text area, and also that they look uh, much better. And and the same way, if you want if you want a, a big big form, you, you can use uh, LG. So like I said, and if you it's the same thing which you use for uh, uh, buttons. So LG is large, SM is, is small. Like I said, if you keep on repeating these kind of elements uh, in in, in, in uh, many of the things. And and if you want, <coughs> let's say if if you want check boxes, uh, you can you can use these kind of uh, if you, you can use these kind of classes. Uh, everything is written out here. If you want the check boxes in, in in a line, not not one below the other, you can use this. Uh, again, if you want without labels, you can use this. So <coughs> now now uh, now comes the uh, interesting part. If if you want to. Uh, if you want to create some structure uh, around the forms, so all you have to do is you, you can uh, use those classes uh, to make the forms uh, look <coughs> uh, much much better, or or, or with, with according to your arrangement, uh, and and also uh, the labels also you can add it. So let's let's create some form with with uh, uh, actually you can just copy paste it. <laughs> so. Or, or you can you can put them in a from from row. You can use this. Um, you can just realize you will just automatically realize how how good these forms looking. Uh, just by yeah, you can see. Again, if if you want to uh, modify it, uh, you can keep modifying it. So this is a row form row. So uh, it, it is a normal uh, as as a normal row. You are putting columns. 
you can put uh, columns here so if you want to add add one more thing all you have to just do is uh, you create one more uh, column and let's say and you can see it's, it's automatically evenly spaced so based on uh, these kind of things you can uh, <coughs> uh, create forms in whatever way you want let's say in the next row i want to create a form uh, which has only two so i create one more form and i'll, I'll remove the middle one so no so based based on based on your uh, business scenario or or, or or your requirements you, you can uh, uh, start creating the forms in, in whatsoever the way you want okay just holding it i'm just putting a hr here or, or you can put a line break to make it okay so you can see now the form looks uh, like this <coughs> uh, if, if you want labels you, you can put labels so all you have to just do is don't don't worry about this md and all we will look that uh in, in in the second lecture so till uh, whatever the concepts you learned in grid uh, using that you can you can create uh, good looking uh, pages or or elements so if i put label yeah yeah the label is here okay. Okay, so you can see now now that the form this form has labels and and and, and uh, so the inside of of this text which you are seeing is called placeholder text. So I'm writing placeholders whatever you want to see. Uh, so here you can give examples or, or when you are putting labels. It's, it's, you see. So it's like kind of giving a hint to the user. <coughs> okay, in the same way, form have some more. Uh, things called uh, uh, like you, you can see uh, there's something called help text if you want to uh, give some small hint or, or uh, <coughs> thing to the user uh, you, you, you can use this um, yeah. you can use these classes so so small is, is for small text so let's say you can see if there is a small text that, that kind of appears below the form so you can guide the users for in whatever the way you want <coughs> there are uh, uh, some some other uh, things like like input groups what include groups does is so if you want to uh, create some kind of uh, this button or, or, or effect with along with the form all you have to do is instead of <coughs> input you have to you have to create uh, an input group and then and use this what is the prepend prepend means before uh, append means after so you have to use this and then so that uh, you, you uh, the the element will look like this so you don't have to uh, <coughs> worry about <coughs> uh, aligning them and all so these 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 will be helpful if you are if you are building some complicated forms and all. Uh, that's that's the whole crux of it. So if, if you look at uh, uh, today's today's what is this? This is regarding forms, right? I put, okay. So if if you look at uh, today's uh, lecture, you, you can see that uh, we created. And this good looking page with, without writing any css so all the css has been provided with uh, is, is is by the bootstrap so all you are doing is you are using those classes uh, to create um, a good looking uh, let's say layouts or elements and then without any effort so that's why like i said uh, it, it's it's a very um, uh, useful thing for the developers so because with very minimal effort uh, or efforts uh, you, you can now start building uh, very good looking uh, pages.